Hey guys and welcome to another video here on my channel, Nick Does Golf. And I have a special guest with me today. Here she is, the lady herself, Nala. What a golfer, slash caddy, slash dog. Overall, she's just a, whoa. Nah, only joking, she didn't really pull me. Anyway, on with today's video. Today, what I'm gonna be doing and showing you is the five top golf hacks that I've used over the years of playing this wonderful game. So, are you ready? Thought so. This is Nick Does Golf. So golf hacks is defined as either a skill or a trick that you may not have even considered to help you play better golf. These are my top five golf hacks that I'm going to share with you right now. Okay, so number one is slowing your swing down when you're playing in the wind. The amount of times you see people trying to really give it that extra little bit as they're hitting into the wind is actually quite crazy really because they're just generating more spin as it goes up into the air therefore it goes higher and then you're just relying on the elements to actually help you out a little bit which more than often than not it's not going to so taking an extra club is ideal okay so you're actually de-lofting what you're hitting into the green and then you can slow your swing down this means that the ball is going to come out lower and more penetrating against that wind element. If you've never considered this and you do struggle in the wind, I certainly recommend that you try this golf hack. Number two is tee height. Especially if you're slicing or hooking the ball, it can be actually quite beneficial depending on what height you have the tee. If you're a slicer of the golf ball, I recommend that you tee the golf ball up a little bit higher. This is going to encourage you to hit it from the inside to square that path up as the club comes down into the ball. The opposite goes if you are hooking the ball. If you are hooking it, I recommend that you tee the ball slightly lower. This is going to encourage a steeper angle of attack, therefore squaring that path up a little bit more and to create that straighter ball flight. Number three is a putting hack, okay? If you are one of these people that is really eager to see where the ball is going, whether it's from 50 feet or five feet, I recommend that you put a penny underneath the ball. Obviously only in practice, uh, because that would obviously be illegal and you'd have to add penalty after penalty if you were to do it in a real match. Putting the penny under the ball when you're actually taking your putting stroke encourages you to actually look at the penny rather than the ball as you go through impact and as the ball goes towards the hole. This is to encourage the path staying on line throughout the whole stroke, whether it's in to square to in stroke for your putting or you just do a straight back and straight through. It doesn't matter. This keeps your eyes and your head from moving as you're doing your stroke. It helps prevent looking where the ball's going, therefore opening up your chest towards the ball. It's quite common that you're gonna see a pull with these if you weren't to do this. This hat can be massively beneficial to you and you can certainly see yourself holding more putts. This next hack is great for your takeaway. Whether you take it inside or you take it on the outside, this drill, it's more of a drill to be honest, uh, is certainly gonna help you perfect that and get you in a better position on the way to the top. So what you need to do is place a ball behind the club that you're using, okay, as you are pretty much getting ready to take your setup. The idea is to sweep that ball away on a good neutral path to help present that club at the top of the backswing in a great position, ready for you to transition into your downswing. This drill has certainly served me well over the years, so I definitely recommend that you try this. The fifth and final hack that I would like to give you is about your pre-shot routine. Now, a lot of people do tend to pick a mark out which is behind the ball, but also in line with the flag. Now, there's no problem with this, but you want to be able to align with something that is directly in line with the flag. Surely this is much easier, right? So, picking out something which is a couple of inches uh, after the ball, okay, in line with the flag is gonna be more beneficial for you. As you can see from this video here, I can easily align myself, my feet, my shoulders, my hips, up with this target, okay, which is also in line with the flag, and it's much better for me. 
but this is total preference so you don't obviously have to go with this now all of these hacks have served me really well during my golfing career and hey Niles how did you get there yeah they've served me really well during my golfing career and it's something that I wanted to pass on to you because I feel if they're beneficial for me they're going to be certainly beneficial for you now this doesn't mean to say that they're all going to work for you this is all about experimenting see what works best for you these are obviously the best ways to make sure that you can get the best out of your practice and to be able to take this all out onto the golf course so i hope you can go out there and utilize some of these as best you can guys please make sure that you subscribe to my channel as always if you haven't already done so please do it the support i've had so far from the golfing community is just amazing also give it a like and drop a comment down below i'd love to hear from you to see if you've had a go of these as always make sure you follow my social media platforms on instagram twitter and tiktok to keep up to date with everything that i'm doing on a daily basis so from me and nala thanks for watching guys and see you all very soon